I wanted to take you on a tour today. Uh, for those who have been following Real Martian, I feel like I owe you guys this. A tour of the transition from our barn to our first manufacturing facility. So let's go ahead and jump in here. It's right behind me. We call this building the Estes Building. Let me give you the tour. Here we go. We're at the shipping and receiving entrance. And then we come on inside and we actually ship and receive all out of the same spot. And then we're gonna take a left here. And this is where we start the manufacturing process. And we come over here and we've got our welding is all set up. It's really cool because uh, one of our first employees, actually Eli, he's been with us now for uh, two years and his uh, welding skills have come a long way. We weld everything in house. We fabricate everything in house. Uh, we're looking at possible outsourcing of that. I think all of us are ready to go to that next level. Um, but we have been welding everything right here. So another thing that we've done is we've actually, we do our own powder coating. And let me show you the room. And we'll give it a quick light switch here. Here we are. So we powder coat all of our own stuff and we take it out of that room. You go past the big air compressor that scares everybody. And we come to our homemade powder coating oven into the building here and we're gonna walk around a little bit and then I'll show you all the material here here's the floor space so we fabricate everything over here to the left that's all of their dirty area drilling cutting bending all that we got a bender up here and then we'll bring it in the middle we've got some fabric processing that we do here and as we powder coat everything take it out of the oven hang it all up raw goods so then up in the front of the building, we've got our ever important whiteboard uh, and we've got some desk space here. And then we have our raw material storage just from a different angle. Our electrical work centers here and more part storage. And that brings us back to the main area. It's been quite the journey going from the barn to the shop here. Uh, I remember we used to call it a garage to global at my previous company. I think that's what we're gonna be doing here is getting the whole garage to global thing going. So um, we just, like I said, took over this entire space, which is awesome. Just look at it all. We have a second facility now that we call the Pathfinder facility. I'll take you to that one here coming up. Uh, but that's where we do all of our grow ops in uh, Washington State. And we also have operations that are now starting in Texas. Made it to what we call the Pathfinder building. You can see behind me, we've got a bunch of the towers. Let's go ahead and move in there. And we've got a great deal on this building. We've got an office there for a master grower. And then our towers. And then we have a nice little seating area here. We even have our emblem up on the wall. And over there, through that window, we actually have engineering. All of those banners look good. And we got all of our grow ops here. Swing around. See, these are the old towers. It tells a story. Every time you come in here, this is one of the old uh, 231 towers that was sandblasted. Got that stuff growing there with the new lids. See the difference between the lids and the old non-treated, buffed, and sandblasted there. Pretty cool to see. We got some raspberries growing here. And more goodies. I'll give you guys an overview of the towers here in the future. Especially those who've never seen them before. They're pretty darn cool. They're the only towers that have aquaponics right there. All the big tanks, they're there because we can do fish like giant freshwater prawns. Oh yeah. And there we go. We made some new trays now so we can do microgreens. And you see they're doing really well. And over here, these guys should look familiar. They're under repair. The old Iron Man towers from up at the ranch, made of stainless steel. These are the ones that I made. Pretty cool. It's old triple deck. This is a 2.2, I think, that's been upgraded a few times. You can see it's sitting there. It's needing some attention. 
And then this is our potato growing room. We've successfully grown potatoes now. And uh, we know the secret. Try to walk backwards here. And uh, now we have this facility. We got a great deal on it. A uh, person who really believes in what we're doing and uh, is engaging with us. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. So we've come a long ways in a very short period of time. I've been on this journey full time for four years. Uh, going on my fifth and to start off in the garage to go through all the things that we've gone through including a pandemic a global pandemic uh, the whole world shutting down and everything it's super crazy uh, and we're here and we're growing and what we're doing with this reg cf where we're asking you to either pray for us uh, to share this message or to pledge by going to eatinggrowsystems.com forward slash reg cf is we need to expand more. We need to grow more. We need to get more buying power so that we can reduce the cost of goods because by buying in bulk, I can pass those savings on uh, to the customers. And that would allow us to get our towers to even more people out there uh, in addition to the 40 uh, that we still have to deliver. So for all the ones waiting, we are working our butts off uh, getting this stuff to you including working with potential outsource suppliers where we can actually have them do some of the fabrication for us, including powder coating uh, that'll increase quality, increase speed, and we'll be able to pump out a lot of towers. But in order to do that, we gotta have the money to be able to pay them for the larger orders, and that's where the Reg CF fundraise comes in. So again, uh, we need your guys' help. Pray for us, uh, share this message, or pledge. Uh, any of those three or a combination or all of them it would be extremely helpful. We're super grateful for everyone who's followed us along and everyone who's pledged so far. Thank you in advance. Uh, we're gonna make your dollar go as far as we possibly can. Remember, the Reg CF is not a donation. It is equity. It is the last time that anybody is gonna be able to be a normal person, a non-accredited investor, and invest in Eden. So you wanna get in now because the next time that this is gonna be possible is when we go public. Uh, in a few years from now. So this is the lowest that it's going to be and it's the time to get in if you want to be part of this change.